Inspiration 717 Empress, and I'm back again. So, this message is for my Taurus, okay? So, I already asked for protection over my messages and my reading, and as well as my energy, okay? Regarding this message towards the Taurus, towards Taurus, okay? So, we're gonna see what Spirit wants Taurus to know, okay? For the connection. Only take will resonate. If it don't apply, please don't let it fly, okay? Or you will manifest it into your reality, okay? So, messages for Taurus. Orphan. Okay, so we have number five, orphan. So you could be feeling abandoned or someone around you could be feeling abandoned right now. Okay? It's stuck in their head with this imagine call. So when I see imagine and it come out, so it's like someone is stuck up in their head because they could feel alone and isolated at this time of moment. Okay? So it's having them be all up in their thoughts. Yeah, round and round. Because they keep continuing to play negative things. Okay, in their head about why they feel alone and why they feel isolated. So this could be you or this could be someone external to you. Okay, so it might be a soulmate because soulmates came out and I'm going to take that, okay? So a person that she was in a relationship and a connection with constantly dreams about you, daydream about you, as well as continue to play thought over and over in their head, Okay. Because you could have left this person out in the cold or this person feel left out by you now. Okay? So you could be saying five, five, five. This person feels lonely without you. This person feels lonely. But what I'm getting is this person is feeling the same way they made you feel. Okay? Feel lonely, left out, not knowing what's going on, feeling bad, they feeling, feeling misunderstood, I'm hearing, okay? So we got this person all up in their imagination, all up in their dreams, getting messages, okay, as well in their dreams about you. And they could be getting dreams about you leaving. Take it where it resonates. Because you get tired of people going round and round with this person as well, with this soulmate. And nothing is being changed, nothing is becoming a difference within y'all connection. This person continues to do the same things over and over repeatedly. So again, yeah, Spirit is sending the message and they dream to let them know that you are getting ready to go. Okay? You are getting ready to move on with your life and do whatever it is that you need for yourself to stay in alignment within the universe. And the soulmate is going to be sad and depressed and even more in their feelings, but that's their karma because when they had you, they should have treated you like the diamond that you were. Okay? <coughs> Give me some messages, Spirit, for that person. Move, yep. Yeah. I told you. You're going to continue to move forward, okay? You have a lot of love for this person, but because you don't want to feel misunderstood, left out, lonely, and a bad anymore, you take the time out to just move and keep it moving, okay? This person will always have your heart, but you just continue to keep moving, okay? It's a seven on this card. You're going towards new beginnings. You don't have time to be waiting on nobody to get their stuff together, okay? So they're going to have to be doing a lot of catching up. Give me more spirit about them and a person, towards and a person. Yeah, take the lead and come together. This person need to take the lead to come together or come in towards you, okay? This person needs to take the lead on if they want to be in this relationship. Because you see how this relationship is not... Like, all the way connected. It's halfway there. Because this person continues to keep sabotaging this connection. But they want this connection to come together, but they're not taking the necessary steps and actions to do so. We're taking the lead, okay? Let's get more spirit. Wow. Let's get more for Taurus. Yeah. This person is not being dedicated. They're not taking... They're, you're being dedicated, okay, towards this connection more than this person. They have to make the dedicated effort in order for this relationship to work. You're doing all the sculpting, all the painting, all the molding. Like, you're doing more of the work and the art than this person. Look, you're painting a picture that's no longer there because this person chooses to let you take the lead and put things together. And this person is letting you do all the work and this person is not doing nothing. This person is not 
doing anything at all. It's like this person refuses to put in the effort, to put in the work. But they want this relationship to come together. But they are not willing to take the lead because you're doing everything. You're doing all of it. You're doing the movements. You're doing the... Let's get more spirit. Yeah, that's why spirit is saying choose your battles wisely, okay? This person is just causing a lot of stagnation. That's why you feel alone. That's why you feel left out. Because this person is not taking the initiative to even, like, put in the effort. You're doing everything, Taurus. You're doing everything, okay? Does this person choose not to put in the effort? Whatever they're manifesting is not manifesting, okay? It's been to a halt. So if they're manifesting, you spirit is saying their manifestation is not working, is not coming through, because spirit sees that this person is not going to put in the effort. You're going to put in all the dedicated effort, time, movement, and attention than this person. So that's why spirit is trying to move you so you can take the lead of your life to either come together with this person or come together within yourself, within your own union, because not necessarily you have to be in union with this person, with your twin flame or with your divine master. You can be in union within yourself. With this two on here, okay? Hello. So, Spray wants you guys to really just take the time out to meditate on what it is that you want for yourself. Because you don't necessarily have to be in union with your person, with your soulmate. It's just basically you being in union with yourself to get back on track to you focusing on yourself, loving on yourself, okay? Then we have find balance. You have found the balance within yourself. So we had seven seven and two two on here. So you took the time out to find balance. So you can be saying two two two. This person did. Because this connection is a balance. Because this person is not willing to take the dedicated effort and actions towards it. So whatever they're manifesting isn't coming into fruition. Isn't being manifested. Because this person wants you to do all the work. And they don't do shit. Alright, let's keep that going later. Okay. Give me more for Taurus. Yeah, they're feeling alone, can't sideways. So you could be getting over being or feeling alone. Okay? You could be getting over feeling alone. That's what I was saying with that 555 that was out here. You could be saying that. You're getting over being alone. You're no longer feeling lonely. Okay? towards this person or about this person because you took the lead of your own life you took control of your own life okay you made the movements necessary for your own heart's desires what it is that you want for yourself as well as choosing your bat battles wisely because now you know you got an eye opener on who this person really is to you okay this person was never going to give you the proper balance within this connection this relationship because balance is in reverse with number 14 on it and it's two people so it could be a twin flame, okay? Because it looks like two is joining this and one. You see how they both connected? This person was never going to give you that balance. Was never going to put in that effort. That's why coming together, the heart is still halfway open because this person is not willing to be put make the effort. But they see that you're balanced and you have balance within yourself, so they think they can come over, come towards you, and take your balance from you. But you're getting over feeling alone because you can't side with it, okay? Yep, love abounds. You're no longer letting love bound you to any current situation, person, place, or thing. You're no longer letting what doesn't serve your highest good bound you, okay? Because love abounds is in reverse. Yeah, you released and rebuild on yourself and focusing on yourself even through the challenge of time. Okay? Because you fought. A hard, strong, long fight. But God is people, places, and things was against you. Okay? And you took the time to rebuild yourself with the help of your spiritual team, your ancestors. You see the angel wings behind you? Your, you trusted it to yourself as well as your ancestors and spiritual team, and they came and lifted you up out of the situation. Okay? That's why you was willing to release. And every time you release, you see how 
more magic starts to come out of you. The more that you release a, a piece of clothing of yourself or a, 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 some type of skin that wasn't even for you to hold on to. Because that wasn't you. It was like you was in someone else's skin. And once your spiritual team came and helped you rebuild your focus, rebuild the trust within yourself as well as them and the Most High God, you start peeling back what everybody else wanted you to be. You start peeling back what everybody wanted you to continue to portray yourself as. But as you start peeling back and getting through and getting to the root of the problem, because we did see the base chakra, okay, at the bottom of the deck, but I didn't pull it out. So as you continue to get to those issues and the problems within yourself as well as without, you start to release. And then you see all the magic that you have within you unfold. Because you're no longer letting love keep you bound. You're no longer letting people, places, and things control what it is that you want for yourself because you're getting out of feeling orphaned and isolated and feeling like nobody is there with you. Okay? So Taurus, what I'm feeling is this was really a journey for you to focus on you and not your person. For you to come into union with yourself. Okay? So that way you can see what it is that you like about yourself. That you know you need to change, or what it is that you um, wasn't trying to see at that point in time that you knew that you needed to work on within yourself, okay? Because all them challenging times do is help you rebuild yourself, help you regain focus on yourself, and help you release it from being the, uh, attached to people, places, and things, okay? Because these people, places, and things seeing that you was balanced within yourself, so they wanted to come around and make you unbalanced, but all it did was keep them unbalanced. Because by knocking someone off of their pivot, or knocking someone off of their throne, it's only going to deteriorate that person from being on their high pedestal or their throne. Okay? Because they wanted to control the situation. And it could have been your person taking away a resident. And everything that they try to go against you or on the throw against you, it never works. Because manifest is in reverse. This person was the magic and try to throw things your way to knock you off of rebuilding yourself and focusing on yourself. This person wanted to be an opposition to you would choose your battles. This person wanted to be this person wanted to cause a lot of turmoil in your life. Okay? Because they wasn't willing to put in the work or put in the effort. They just wanted you to do it. That's what I said. That's why Spirit had choose your battles wisely. This person wanted to be an opposition to you. To knock you off your throne. Because they knew that you was the highest in the room. We also have moving on, yet yeah? You're moving on. You're no longer staying stuck and standing on this person, place, or thing. Take it where it resonates. Because you already have the balance within yourself. And you already dedicated it within yourself. Because you had to Build yourself back up within your heart chakra because you done got hurt so many times by this person. Give me more spirit. Yeah, flow. Came in reverse. Because this person wasn't willing to go within the flow. This person wasn't trying to make everything flow naturally. This person wanted control. Okay? As well as you're facing your darkest fears by stepping into whatever your spiritual calling is. Okay? Because your dreams are coming true. This person wasn't willing to open up to you. Okay? And you put a lot of trust in this person. But this person didn't open up to you. This person didn't express how they felt. Enough. They wanted you to put in the work. Once again, Taurus. And now that you're facing your fear, this person plays a thing. Okay? And they see that you the bomb. Tick, tick. Dot com. Because your dreams coming true. Now this person wants to come back around you. That solar plexus chakra because you are in your creativity. Okay? Detach. You didn't detach from this person. You didn't let this person go. And it's, it clarifies release. Because you're no longer holding on to this person. You released them. And this person wanted you to be detached. But your spirit guys and ancestors said, uh uh uh. You're not about to stay stuck and stagnant on this person. So we can sit up here and be crying over spoiled milk and feeling like isolated and alone. No. You continue to imagine your dreams and your goals, okay? And put it into manifestation. Put it into reality. 
Okay, let this person continue to be round and round and round and round in their own head. And who is it? Your soulmate. Okay? So let's get the final outcome, Spirit, please. Yeah, observe. You're no longer checking for this person. <laughs> like, all your attention is off of this person. You're no longer even worried about it. You're no longer crying over it. You're no longer sitting up here holding on to something that you already knew that you had to put the work in. Yeah, this person's third eye chakra is blocked. Because they're not willing to do the work. So Spirit is like, if you're not willing to do the work, why would we sit up here and bless you with a divine being and you're not willing to do the work? You're not willing to see through your own fault. That you're trying to keep the collective under. Because you wasn't willing to open up. And now that the collective is detached from you, you want to come in. Okay? You want to fake show and express your love. But when they was going through the hard times, where were you at? Okay? When they was uh, conquering and facing their darkest fears within their self and within the universe, where were you at? You was trying to be in opposition to them. You was trying to be in their way. Block them and stop them from all aspects of their life. And now that the collective took time to observe and see what, what the illusion was, they no longer checking for you. Okay? They done released you with the love and light. Okay? Because now they're being guided by their ancestors and spiritual team to rebuild their focus. Okay? Now y'all being guided to re rebuild y'all focus. Okay? Because this person didn't want to open up to you. This person wanted to keep you bound to them with love abounds. This person wanted to keep you bound. Okay? But you took time to find that balance within yourself. And just moved on. Because your dreams is coming true. Okay? You know that you co-create within the universe. And whatever you put your hands on or whatever you put your mind to, it is manifesting. And you know that. You're getting out of feeling alone slowly but surely, okay? It came sideways. You're getting out of feeling isolated. You're getting out of feeling alone, okay? But it's saying do some solar plexus chakra meditation as well as some third eye chakra meditation, okay? Because you could be blocked in your third eye or this person is taking away everything. This person didn't want to go within the flow of y'all connection. So that's why you detached. And start trusting and believing and focusing more into yourself. Start trusting into yourself, trusting into your influence. Start trusting into the spiritual team of your ancestors and let them guide you, okay? And not have somebody come around <coughs> and throw obstacles in your way with the balance of a birth. Okay? And I think I'm going to do some Torah. Let's get some more messages to it about tours and a Yeah, look, the hey man and the devil, your person is stuck. They are bound to their current situation. The same thing they try to do to you, they're being bound to. And that's who, the devil. All the toxicity, all the options and the confusion and choices that they try to put over you, okay, that they don't want to put to an end with the tennis rules. Because they'd rather be stuck and stagnant, focusing and reminiscing on the past, okay, all in their pride and ego. When they spiritual team and ancestors were trying to move them away to calmer waters, this person chose to stay in anxiety and depression over a past relationship with the two of cups. Okay? You no longer was focusing on them, okay? Because you were seeing the bigger picture. You changed your perspective just three and You continue to want to move forward and go forward with this person. But this person blocked you out and made you feel stuck as well with just three and one. So you could see your way out of this situation. This person definitely had you in a third party situation. As well as they couldn't even make the choice or the decision who they were going to deal with. So they continue to juggle. Okay? The balancing act. That's why we had this balance card with a relationship on there with two people, a male and a female, that came out of reverse. Because this person wasn't balanced with their, a relationship. You was balanced already within yourself. But this person wanted to keep you bound to a current. Uh, um, a certain situation and circumstance, okay, to have you confused, to have you not be willing to 
walk away. When this person definitely betrayed you with this tennis wheel, this person put as many knives in your back as they could because they wanted to see you hurt. They wanted to see you like this in the Nine of Swords, but all it did was manifest onto them. So now they're in the Nine of Swords. They're stuck in stagnant energy. They're trying to move away, but I'm more so getting this is you moving away to Six of Swords. Your spiritual team of ancestors came and got you about in this situation. Okay, y'all on two different levels. Yeah, this person... You took the time to go deep with this, so search, self-reflect, okay? This person could be needing to do their shadow work and self-reflect, okay? Yeah, I'm telling you, you have your spiritual team of ancestors all around you with balance right here. You're pouring back into yourself with this temperance card, as well as being divinely guided to do so. I told you this is your spiritual team that's picking you up and taking you out of this situation. Because they don't no longer want you to feel stuck, I uh stuck and bound and lonely because of this person. This person all up in their head, they did dream about you. Okay, they want to come in and apologize and give you some type of offer with this page of cut. But is they gonna come in and give you the proper offer that you need? But it's up to you, Taurus, okay? You already is content, happy, loving, positive, and glowing within yourself. You're already glowing, okay? With the sun card. You're investing into yourself. You're watching the fruits of your labor. Labor grow and you're bearing the fruits of your labor. Okay? You don't have time to be playing around with somebody. With this. You just don't have time for it. All your time and energy is going into what you're trying to co-create within the universe. That's why I know you're walking away and releasing yourself from this with this eight of cups. You're no longer letting it make you feel stuck. You're no longer crying over spoiled milk. Okay? This person is upset that you walked away from them. Yeah, because they wanted to be two-faced towards you. They wanted to be indecisive. They wanted to have... They wanted to sit up here and string you along to where it's though to make you believe that they wasn't going to leave you out and make you feel lonely and make you feel isolated. When their whole intentions wasn't pure from the get-go because the devil was out here. This person wanted you in confusion. And they and once they put you in confusion, they left you. Once this person put you in confusion, they left you. They wanted you all over your head with this two of swords energy. This person left you. Once they came and did what they did or took what they needed, they put you in confusion within yourself internally. Okay, they made you be all up in your head with that two of swords, battling it back and forth, listening to other people. It could be friends and family that could have been telling you one thing and making you feel another way when this person already betrayed you with the ten of swords. And you had to grow and build and glow yourself up. Look, the love is trying to pop up. I'm going to take it. Told you. It's a person that you in love with. A person that you was in a two of cups connection with. This person left you. Look, they walking all from you. This person didn't even care. Give me more spirit. Yeah, this person held back their truth from you as well with the ace of swords and the three of swords. As long as this person seen that you was hurt, they didn't care. I'm telling you. Because they wasn't balanced within themselves anyway. Because balance came in reverse. But fine balance came in the upright. And I believe that you collected that has the balance within yourself. This person wanted to bring a lot of unbalanced things, situations to y'all relationship. This person was very unfair of here. But you see right through it. With the Ace of Swords, you see right through it. You see right through the games, the lies, the manipulation, the toxicity that your person is trying to bring in your life. You see right through it. Okay? And I'm getting more so now this person and they feelings. Three of Swords energy. Now they hurt. Now they want to come in and apologize and turn everything back around. But that's up to you, Taurus, because this person, you know your story. This person put you through a lot. Whether it was physically, mentally, and emotionally. Yeah, you blocked this person out. 
Nine of Wands, King of Swords, you block this person out. Because this person could have been very narcissistic, selfish, cocky, arrogant. You blocked them out. This person was very controlling with the devil and the king of swords. This person was very cocky, very arrogant, very stuck up in their own ways, thinking they the shit. What's this for? Yeah, five of cups. They didn't care if you were sad. They didn't care if you was crying. They wanted to see you sad and crying. Now this person is in the five of cups energy as well, regret. Wishing they would have treated you better. Wishing they would have done better. The song I'm hearing is, And I wish I never did it. Ooh, yeah. And I wish I never loved it. And I wish I never felt so deep in love with you. And I wish I the way we can be free. No, I can say it. La 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 he said, if he would have knew back then, he never would have felt so. What did he say? And if I do it in like this, I never would have kissed you because I fell in love with you. Yeah, this person is in love with you. This person is in love with you. But they know if they come in, they got to use some type of apology with the page of cuts. You just can't come in and think. That because they had you juggling between you and a third party is going to make everything smooth out. No, it's not going to calm the waters. Now, you may be going to calm the waters towards take it how it resonates. You may be moving on because we did see moving on twice and then the six of fools came out. So you're definitely moving on again. This person is going to feel everything that they put you through with that five of pentacles. There, you're definitely leaving them out. You see how the tables turn? <clears throat> The magician. This person could still be using black magic on you. The devil, the magician, okay? A lot of manipulation tactics to keep you in their energy. So make sure you say it and clean. Cleanse your energy. What's this? Fruit? Yeah. The fool call. This person want to come in towards you now and take the risk. But they was being so cocky and arrogant and stuck in their ways. Stubborn. They didn't want to see the bigger picture of this connection. They wanted to just come in and be destructive. They wanted to turn your shit upside down, make you feel like you don't have no friends and family around you to protect you or be there for you to support you. Okay? That's why spirits say choose your battles wisely. This person wanted to keep you bound to them with dark magic. Let's get some more. But your spiritual team and your ancestors just pick you right up out of that shit. Yep. The world called. That's what I said. What goes around comes around. Hey, what am I supposed to do? Well, I want you in my world. How can I want you for myself when I'm already single? Yeah, continue to heal, y'all. Continue to pray. Continue to meditate. Continue to stay in alignment with the universe. Forgive this person, and if you want to still be with them, that's up to you, okay? I can't tell you what it is that you should do for yourself. You all have to trust into your own spiritual intuition and use your own discernment at this time and moment, okay? But just forgive this person and keep it moving, because um, I'm hearing it's not worth it. Queen of Cups. Yeah, you're not giving no emotions to the situation. You're holding back your emotions. You threw your hands up on that shit. You like what? I'm gonna just stay in my lane and he stay in his own lane. You're not opening yourself up to this connection, to this person. You're holding back your emotions. You're holding back your feelings. Now you can also still be the loving, caring, nurturing. Uh, woman or man that you are, but you're not giving your emotions to the situation at all. 
And this person thinks sex is going to fix it with this cake and wands is not. Yeah, you protecting your peace. Seven of Wands. You're protecting your inner peace. You're protecting your mental peace. You're protecting your spiritual peace. You're protecting your emotional peace. You're not giving in to this situation. This person gonna keep picking and poking at you to 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 they attack. You you just like, you know what, I'm unbothered. I'm unfazed by the situation. You continue to play games on your own time. I'ma just continue to focus on me. Okay, Taurus. Let's see what your person has to say from the Urban's Work 3. What messages do they person have to say, Spirit? I did I didn't want anything to do with this connection back then. Yeah, your person was cocky and arrogant. Your person just wanted to come in and make you feel like they wanted to be with you. They wanted to love on you. They wanted to care for you. But the whole time, they didn't even want nothing to do with this connection. So they was playing games from the get-go. That's why I said what I said with the King of Swords, the magician and the devil. I was this person who was just using a lot of magic on you to make you think and believe that they wanted this connection. When they was juggling you or someone else. Give me some more spirit about that person. I can't do this anymore. Yeah, your person said they can't do this connection anymore. That's why I said towards it. Just keep going. They say we can't force this connection slash relationship. Your person say y'all can't for you can't force the connection. Mm -mm -mm. This person ain't never wanted from the get go. Immature man because they was immature. Your person just wanted to sex you. That's why I said with that king of wands, your person think by having sex with you was gonna make the relationship better. No, your person just wanted sex, and that's what they should have said instead of leading you up. We have what do you want from me? But it's in reverse. So your person feels like. You don't want anything to do with them. Or you want something from them. But that says like to me all this person had to give was things. Some of some people cheat all the time. Yeah, your person is arrogant. What's this? If you're sure about us saying. So now your person saying you sure about us saying, okay? This sounds like a narcissist. This person say people cheat all the time. I can't do this anymore. I don't want any. I didn't want anything to do with this connection back then. Immature. Uh, we can't force this connection. But then they say, "What do you want from me?" Like what? Then they say, "Recycling relationship issues. Stop wasting my time. Aren't you tired?" That's what you're saying to your person. And you're also telling your person, "I'm focusing on myself right now because you feel wounded." Yeah, this person wounded you real bad. This person played with your um. I'm here intelligence. This person try to play you like a fool. Everybody needs a fool. Sometimes. One more call, Spirit, please, and thank you. This is it. Everybody plays a fool. Sometimes we both cheat and no one is perfect. Ooh, Taurus, so you could have cheated on your person. But that still don't give your person the right to treat you like shit because uh, tick for tack. I don't understand why people do tip for tap, okay? Your person said y'all both had cheated. No one is perfect. But you probably was honest with your person when you did step out in a relationship and did what you did. Take it how it resonates, okay? That's only if you only if you cheated on your person, okay? If it don't apply, then just keep it moving. But this person is basically saying neither one of you is perfect because y'all both cheated. Okay, but this person was being very immature. Then. You spoke up and said something to your person if you did do something. This person kept having you being in the blind. Look, the two swords. This person left you in the blind in a lot of confusion, battling your own mind, figuring out if this person was being truthful or not. Every time they said something out their mouth. <sighs> person knew that they were just coming to stroke their ego. They just wanted people to stroke their ego. Their intentions wasn't pure from the giga. You see the devil and the magician. 
they intentions was to come and cause you pain and hurt with the three of swords. While you all up in your head battling the two minds with the two of swords and with the seven of cups in a bunch of confusion. And now that you block this person out, this person wanna be arrogant towards you. Okay? Cursing you out, still disrespecting you, treating you like shit. Okay? This person not was care because they still immature. They have to grow up. They have to be willing to do the healing work within themselves so to um, come towards you with the proper offer. That's my spirit is saying, no, my child. We're going to continue to keep you moving forward. We will continue to move you to calm the waters. We're helping you rebuild and refocus on yourself. Don't let nobody come and take you off your throne because you are supposed to be there and stay there. Okay? What messages you have for Taurus spirit? Yes, forgiveness. I said that. Just forgive your person. Forgive yourself. Okay? So you can be able to continue to move forward. As well as you are protected. Okay? You are definitely divinely protected. Divinely guided as you continue to move forward and forgive this person. And as well as forgive yourself. Okay? You could need some amethyst. An uh, amethyst crystal, okay? I have one. I could have showed y'all, but I don't have mine around my neck today. Um, So you could need some amethyst, okay, with this wondrous card. Because third eye chakra was in reverse. So it's really saying get some amethyst so you can be, so you can align your third eye chakra, okay? Meditate. You can look up some third eye chakra meditation on YouTube. As well as get some amethyst crystal. An amethyst um amulet. If that's what they call it, I'm not sure, to wear around your neck with you, okay? So you can trust more to your intuition and trust more to yourself. As well as continue to keep that happiness within yourself, okay? Because you are going towards your happiness, your abundance, okay? As well as continue to be truthful to yourself by standing in your truth. Letting your ancestors and spiritual team guide you. And continue to give you that protection as well as that happiness that you are supposed to always feel and walk in. Okay? As well as shed, spread, give, feel, do everything. Excuse me, out of love. Okay? So I hope this message resonates with you guys. Okay? Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. As well as hit the bell notification button. Bye. Love you all.